Hi everybody, welcome to the Live with Children here at Akiva, it's day four, and I'm laughing because I'm realizing how low and rough my voice sounds. But anyway, I'm happy to have you here join me today in Hall 11.1 at Stan G10 at the Inner Pharma Technology booth. I'm delighted to be joined by Darren McHugh, who's going to give us an overview of Inner Pharma Technology and actually some exciting new products as well. So, first of all, Darren, it's lovely to see you. How are you, my friend? Yeah, very good, Rizwan. Great to meet you. You know, delighted to meet you. In fact, we're delighted to be one of, doing one of your talks. Um, look after your voice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, uh, as it is day four, how have the first three days gone for you so far? Yeah, it's good. It's been good. It's great to be back at Akima. You know, it's been 2018 since we've been here. This is such a big show. It's been great meeting people again. A lot of old friends, a lot of old faces, and a lot of new faces. So we've been having a great week. Brilliant. Now, for those people who are familiar with Inner Pharma Technology, could you give me a quick overview? Will do, will do. So uh, my name is Darren McHugh, Senior Product Manager for Inno Pharma Technology. We operate in the high uh, tech space of pharmaceuticals. We're known for our PAT sensor technology. It's been on the market for quite a while. I'll show you that in a moment. Um, but we've also got some new technology here today that I'm really excited to show you. And that's really us moving into the Industry 4.0 space, Pharma 4.0, and well, Industry 5.0. It's here, it's with us, it's happening. So yeah, excited to show you that in a moment. Brilliant, well let's see. Um the PAT product that you've already got. Definitely will do. Over here, we've got the Icon 2. Um, it's what we're known for, it's our flagship tech. Been on the market over 10 years now. Um, what we can see here is the Icon 2, our non-product contact particle size analyzer. It measures uh, through pre-existing process windows or windows we can install for you. Uh, here's one of our integrations showing you here, looking through a small window. And we measure the particle size and shape of both powders and solids between the size range of 50 microns to 5,500 microns. What's really great about this is we've got our new software iPass version 3 running here on the right. Real-time data analysis happening here and the images are being broken down and measured for their particle size being shown on the right. But what's happening in the back end there is we've got new machine learning capability built in that can now expand the range of materials we can measure. We can now measure highly reflective materials, shiny materials, and very oddly shaped materials as well. So really excited to offer that now to our customers. That's a recent development with iPass. What we're looking at here is the, the user interface. So we get a snapshot of the data, the D10, the D50, and the D90 of your particle size. So you can measure that in line, in your process, get the data when and where you need it, make decisions about maybe modifying your process, improving the quality, et cetera. These are all the great things you can do with the Icon 2. Fantastic. And you said you've got something new and exciting to show Yes, you. I do. Follow me over this way. So this is what I really wanted to show you here today over uh, at Akima. We have our SmartX system. This is our process development and automation platform. So what we're looking at here is these two screens. On the right is a virtual process. This is a fluid bed Worcester process. Um, it could be any process, really. It could be twin screw granulation, milling, any of your types of processes that you work with. And we're taking all that data over to this screen over here where we're actually automating the control of this process. So we're reading what's been uh, the sensors from the fluid bed, but we're adding third-party sensors as well, our own other sensors, the system's agnostic in that sense of what you can bring into it. And we're controlling the particle size or whatever the end product quality that you want, be it moisture content, etc., cetera, um, through this automated strategy. So it's completely hands-free. We've done this to feedback control really built in here. And this is just one layer that we have with the SmartX system. If I show a few other aspects of it, sure. um, we've got the manual control where you can take over the process and input your parameters and adjust them manually. Maybe you want to take something back into control that's out of conformance. And this is really on the machine shop floor level where the operators would be working, similar HMI or SCADA system that people would be familiar with. But all this data is being, uh, it's automated and digital, it's going up to the cloud. So if you just go via a web browser here, uh, anyone can log into the SmartX system here. You might have your subject matter experts in another part of the world and you can all look at the same data live or post and it's all time aligned and I can't under, and under emphasize how important time aligned data is. Anyone who works with data would really appreciate that feature. And there's other aspects to the system as well. So these are the sessions recorded in the cloud, but we also have the process development environment where you actually build your automation strategies. And this is what we call our low code, no code environment. So anybody would, um, uh, uh, can use this system to build out different functional blocks to control whatever the piece of process equipment is uh, based on different criteria. This first one here is just starting up a fluid bed. It's heating the fluid bed to a certain temperature. Not until it reaches 84 degrees will it move to the next step and we can put in extra layers there, such as um, increase the airflow based on moisture content, for example, in an automated fashion. 
You can even go deeper with this system because it's open architecture. We've built in a Python scripting engine here, so you can build your own functional block, for example, if you really want to get that advanced version. Of course, we support our customers doing that as well. So there's some of the layers that come with our SmartX system. It's, um, it can be deployed in the shop floor, it can feed the data up to the cloud for you, really working in that process development environment for people to get their product to, to market quicker, to get from R&D to production, learn more about their processes, and replicate it then again as well in an automated fashion. Darren, thank you for giving that overview. That's brilliant. Um, so there you go, viewers. If you're here at Acuma for the next two days, then please come over to uh, Hall 11.1, stand G10, talk to Darren and the team and learn more about the new Spartex process digitalization and the Icon 2. Um, if you can't make it though, how can people get more information, Darren? Yeah, of course, reach out to us via our website, which is innopharmatechnology.com. Brilliant, well there you go, well look, good luck for the next two days, Darren, I hope it goes really well for you. Uh, and viewers, I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, as always, stay well and stay safe. Bye-bye.